You know, today's topic is something that I've been pushing under the rug for quite a while, and personally, it's about time I give my two cents on it, because as many of you know, I'm a huge as Shin Megami Tensei fan, and it's kind of one of the series that defines my channel whether you realize it or not, because like I said, SMT is like one of my favorite series in general, not even just factoring games, but you know, there's been this whole divide and this whole like conception that like Persona killed um Shimogami Tensei. And here's my two cents on the case. So to better understand this whole thing, I'd like to point out that like I like Persona and all. Persona's like it's it's not one of my favorite series of all time, because well I just consider it part of Shimogami Tensei, but you know. I like Persona and all, it's really good. Persona um, 3 specifically is one of my favorite games. And I have and I still have yet to play Persona 5. Well yet, but yeah. I like Persona, so let's not get things twisted here. Even though I will admit that I do have trace of a SMT elitist as told by my <laughs> own server. And also the many people who call me SMT elitist, but that's not the point. That's not the point. So basically there's this whole divide and this whole idea that Persona basically killed SMT and basically heavily um, injured it. Me personally, I do agree with this. And you know what? I'm just, I might as well just unlinquish every bit of emotion that I have here. So, see, I'm a bit frustrated with it because you see, here's the thing. You have to, you have to understand why. Like, as an SMT fan, I'm just fucking frustrated with Atlas and just how they've been mistreating the series that basically led them to the greatness that they are now. Now, you have to understand, like, to all you Persona fans who do not understand, you have to understand that Atlas began with, with a series called Shin Megami Tensei. Well, technically, they made ports of games that nobody wanted to do, which were bad, but the thing is, what really took them off back in, like, around the NES to SNES age is what um, Shin Megami Tensei Basically, just a basically just a whole game on a novel of the same title. Basically, that that's it. So this is what got SMT. Uh, this is what got um, Atlas so popular, or at least a, a name, as I can say for that. And the thing is, you have to understand that like Shin Megami Tensei is what put them on the map. Yet they turned their backs on it so badly. You you want evidence for that? Let's look at Persona itself. Okay, so get this. So you know the first two personas. Basically, they they are the most SMT like, and this is also considered by Persona fans who actually played those games. And if you haven't, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But just like, they're like they're really good. So you should though. And anyways, regardless, they're like some of the more SMT like Persona games. And you want to know what's funny about it? Among the among the uh, um, Persona st related stuff, like the um, Persona related crossovers and all that, they don't talk about Persona One or Two at all. And those are the most SMT like of the series. And you see, what else is funny is they even dropped the whole SMT moniker to begin with. Cause also, in case you didn't know, Persona fans, Persona used to be called Shin Megami Tensei Persona, not just Persona Shin, Shin Megami Tensei Persona implying that it was just part of a series, which was fine. If they would have kept doing that to this day, I wouldn't be in so much of a complaint right now, because, hey, at least Persona fans would know that their series at least comes from um, an even huger seri series than before. But, yeah, notice how, like, the more SMT-like a Persona game is, it, the less focus it gets, and also the fact that they don't have SMT in the title anymore, which is kind of important, guys, you know? Shit's kind of fucking important. And, and like, this is even further evident by, like, all the crossovers and stuff like that. Notice how, like, notice how, like, none of the characters appear. Like, we don't get, we, like, we don't get no Maya. We don't get no Tasuya. We don't get any of them. And mind you, those characters are not bad. They're actually well-written characters. And the thing is, I consider them pretty over, um, not overrated, but underrated. But yet, they don't appear in any Persona, any Persona thing outside of their own thing. And it, it's stupid because, like, that's just, this is one of the key evidences for, like, um, Atlas is wanting to scrap Persona un 
I will not scrap Persona, but scrap Shin Megami Tensei just under the bus like it didn't happen. And I wouldn't be so much of a theory if, like, the thing is, if they just balanced it out. But no, they don't do that. They now are mil they're now milking the hell out of Persona. Like, get this, get this, get this. Okay. So, let's go back to the Golden Age era of uh, um, Shin Megami Tensei. Alright? So, they used to make Shin Megami Tensei, like, they used to make Shin Megami Tensei, um, spin-offs and spin-off series right off the ass, bro. It was crazy. 2000s was where it was at, because that's where, like, that's where basically, pers not Persona, but, like, this is where basically Shin Megami Tensei as a whole overarching series basically reached its peak. And, you see, the thing is about it is, like, now, like, the thing is, is, like, you have to understand, like, at first there was, like, a, it was the other way around, but that's because Persona hasn't really established its thing, hasn't really made its mark yet. Well, like, it has got popular more with Persona 3 at the time, but it didn't really make its mark like it has now. Okay, so fast forward all the way to Persona, um, to all the way to the Persona 4 era. Now, basically, it's starting to shift the turns, and, like, the thing is, and now there's, now the equilibrium between the two is basically gone. Like, and this is even more apparent with how Persona 5 is being treated. Like, look, notice how around that era, that there's little to no SMT representation at all. Little to no games have related to SMT. All we got was either re-releases, which were the Devil, Devil Survivor games, which were also pretty good, by the way. I would suggest playing them if you're especially a fan of strategy games. But we got a, basically an influx going here. There's like a, there's like just the equilibrium between the two is just starting to, it's starting to waver all the way to Persona. And the thing is, it's like, bro, it's, it's stupid because like fucking, because like fucking L, it's like they literally are milking the fuck out of Persona. They're making spinoff after spinoff after spinoff after spinoff. And yet, ignoring the series that put them on the map. To put in perspective of how annoying that is, imagine you're a fan of Sega. Imagine this. Imagine that they completely disregarded Sonic, and they put him under the rug, act like he didn't fucking exist, and yet focused on something other, other else, another series. Like, that's related. That's basically what Shin Megami Tensei fans have to endure, and it's fucking annoying. And it's even made worse that, like, because of the per Persona milking, SMT5, while I do believe it's gonna be coming out, I don't think it's dead, it's gonna be very fucking delayed and probably go through development hell. And it's not gonna be fair because, like, fuck, bro. Like, there's so much shit that, that, like, it's just so much could be done. And yet, at the end of the day, Persona is just. It's Atlas's main focus, and it's just so stupid because they don't give any attention to. Shin Megami Tensei, and, like, funny thing is, it's like, I don't mind Persona being popular, that's good and all, but, like, at the end of the day, it shouldn't be clouding, overshadowing, like, Shin Megami Tensei, the main series, the main meat of the fucking s company, like, come on, bro, shit's so stupid, and it makes me so fucking mad, because, like, I have to, like, bro, it's just so dumb, and, you see, we got like, and like, there's, and like, you know what also just makes me mad is like, we got, I, I know so many Persona fans that like, do not even fucking know that Shin Megami Tensei, the mainstream series, do not exist. But they do know Persona though, but they don't know SMT. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into the fact that I personally do believe that Shin Megami Tensei is better, but that's not even relevant. What is relevant is just how mistreating like Atlas is towards their main series. It's unbelievable how much they're trying to scrape this shit under the surface and act like it didn't happen. And you know, it's just, it's insulting, you know, it's really insulting. Like, you can call me, oh, oh, Neo's a fucking elitist, oh, Neo's salty, oh, man, I don't even give a fuck, I, I don't, I really don't, but I just, I feel that this is, this is not, and I'm not the only one who's saying this, there's many SMT fans myself who've made this claim, and we, and I stand by it, because the evidence is there, people, you have to just look with, you have to look without goggles, that's all I'm gonna say, but anyways, do I feel like Persona killed SMT? In a sense, yeah. And do I wish it would come back? Yes. But you know what? At, knowing Atlas, they're not going to do it. 
So, yeah, with that being said, that's all, folks. Super Bear Neo, peace the fuck out. Um, hope you had a good day, or night in this case, or new day.